Hey, welcome back to the book of Malachi this morning. We're at chapter 4, verse 3. So let's see what that says. You shall trample the wicked, for they shall be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this, says the Lord of hosts. So verses 1 to 3, we've noticed, go together quite well. Verse 1 tells us a lot about the fate of the wicked. We already talked there about what does the Bible actually teach. Does not teach a hellfire that burns endlessly, that the person exists endlessly. People exist only as long as they exist, forever is as long as you live. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, Hannah has a baby, and God answers her prayer, and she says, I'm going to loan my baby, Samuel, Shemuel, I'm going to loan him to the Lord as long as he lives. I've loaned him to the Lord forever. And how long is that? It's as long as he lives. What we see here is we're still carrying on from verse 1. You shall trample the wicked. This is talking to the righteous still. You shall trample the wicked, for they will be what under your feet? Uh, burning people? No, not burning people. They will be ashes under the soles of your feet. So a day is coming when the wicked are totally burned up. There's nothing left. And God remakes the earth. The earth is made new. The wicked will, sadly, they chose, they chose that, but they will be destroyed. There's nothing left. People do not burn forever. There'll be ashes under the soles of your feet on the day that I do this. There is a day of judgment. There is a day when God is judging. There's a day when God will end once and for all, all of those who've chosen to be against him. This might be a, a strange thought to you. You might not have ever heard this before. But again, in the second and third century AD, that's when we really get this Greek immortality of the soul idea sort of blended into the church in a sad way. And it has been the basis for false teaching. But there's so many places in the Bible that teach us otherwise. We live, God put, puts us together, the breath of life and the, and the dust of the ground come together. God, it makes a person. When a person dies, the breath of life goes back to God who gave it. The dirt goes back to the ground and man comes into a situation which is kind of like a state of sleep. Here we have this very interesting promise you will trample the wicked, they will be ashes under the soles of your feet. If somebody's done you harm, a very evil person who never repented, we have here the assurance that justice will come. God is not going to allow that person to go on through eternity doing evil. Ultimately, people make a decision. We choose which side morally we're on, and judgment is his. It's not ours. He's the one who conducts this final judgment. He's the one who carries out this final judgment, not you or I. So we can trust ourselves to him and we want to make sure that as many persons as possible turn to him so that they don't experience this tragic, tragic fate for someone who's made in God's image to be reduced to nothing, and I'm sure in a very painful way. But it's an event. It's not a forever process in the way you might be used to thinking of it. I know what the movies teach. I know what the so many books and movies and all that stuff teaches. But again, if we go and actually begin to study what does the Bible say about what happens when a person dies— both in the Old Testament and the New Testament, the picture begins to fill out in a very fascinating and a very interesting and clear way, Scripture interpreting Scripture. Dear Father in heaven, we want our hearts to be right. We want to draw close to Jesus. We certainly don't want to be among those who were turned finally, the Bible tells us, to ashes. Help us to be right. Help us to seek Jesus. And, and may our hearts, we open our hearts completely to you for transformation Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Oh, Lord, help us to be transformed and help us to be on the side, the side of Jesus. Oh, we long for this. May it be so for you and I today on this rumbling planet full of trouble. Oh, may Jesus come soon. But today, let's serve him while we can. God be with you.